Welcome. In this video, I'm going to share with you not only how to get over a poor performance review, but also how to leverage it to advance your career. So let's get started with step one. And the first step is simply to take some time after your review. And here's why. It is absolutely normal and expected that after hearing about any areas where you're struggling or maybe you have some weaknesses or challenges at work, that you are gonna feel some resulting feelings of perhaps disappointment, maybe some resentment, perhaps some hopelessness or helplessness. This is normal. No one likes getting negative feedback. It doesn't feel good. And you need to give yourself some time to process these negative feelings. Once you feel calmer, once you can start to look at the review more as an opportunity and less as an end game in your career, then you can move on to step two. Step two is to look at the results of your review with objectivity. When you look at the performance review, instead of thinking about these areas of challenge or areas of weakness as a reflection of who you are, instead think about them as a reflection of some areas where maybe your skills just aren't at where they need to be yet. If we think about our challenge areas or our weaknesses as skill gaps, then we have a lot more agency for being able to fill those gaps. There are a lot of concrete ways that we can skill up for our careers. However, if we think about them as reflections of who we are, we feel very stuck because they suddenly feel like an attack on our identity and we feel very limited in our ability to change something when we think it is about who we are versus a skill we can develop. Once you've identified these areas with objectivity and you've looked at the different skills where with attention, with effort, and with practice, you can develop your skills further, you can move on to step three, which is to make a plan. Now, a plan can be as simple as identifying your goal, identifying a way to measure how you're going to make progress on that goal, making sure that you make those goals and steps toward your new skill or skill development attainable and achievable, and finding a way to track your progress. So you could use those simple steps to work towards skilling up in those areas. Another possibility is to work with somebody who can help you skill up in those areas. For example, I work with my clients to help them improve in areas such as communication, leadership skills, and executive presence. So you can reach out to me or someone through your organization or somebody else that you know of and trust or admire and see if they're willing to walk this path with you and help you skill up in those areas. So those are three steps for moving forward from a poor performance review. Now, I'd love to hear any other questions you have about moving forward from a poor performance review. So please take some time and leave them in the comments if you do have any questions and I will see you in the next video.